Don't look at the back of my head. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Gordon Ramsay, aka my father, who is, couldn't be here, okay? It's, it's just gonna be me, Brittany Ramsay. Ramsey. Today, guys, I miss my mom, okay? I miss my mom. I miss, like, southern cooking. I'm tired of door dashing half of my meals. I don't know. I need some, like, southern comfort food. I need my mom's chicken and dumplings. And I'm gonna share that with you today. And this is a coveted family recipe, so, like, don't tell anyone. Please don't tell anyone. Um, but have your friends watch this video if they want to. So I'm feeling like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make chicken and dumplings. When I went on last meals with Mythical Chef Josh, one of my death row meals was my mom's chicken and dumplings. And I told him, I was like, you know, there's a specific way that my family does chicken dumplings and it's weird. It's using tortillas, like using flour tortillas as the dumplings instead of, you know, hand crafting dumplings with flour, dough, whatever. And so he was like, what the f I was like, yeah, you don't get it, dude. So I'm gonna make that here today. And I made jammies and can I make moo moo? I'm feeling cozy, I'm feeling crazy. And let's make a hot soup to celebrate summertime. Here's what you'll need. Here's the list of ingredients, okay? Pot, bowl, cutting board. Look at this cutting board, y'all. It is a lemon, and these little green parts are rubbery, so it's non-slip. That is darling. Chicken broth. We've got chicken stock. I like chicken stock because it's saltier and it's stronger than chicken broth. You also are gonna need this better than bouillon, a rotisserie chicken, shredded up, some shredded carrots, some chopped celery, like I said, those flour tortillas. And then we're rocking with a bunch of this. We've got garlic powder, poultry seasoning, onion salt, Lowry's, absolute crucial key ingredient. We've got some thyme, sage, garlic salt, and then we've got some black pepper. You're also gonna need some butter to lube up your insides. Something about Southern cooking that a lot of people don't understand is you need to lube the body. You need to lube your arteries, you need to lube up your, your swallowing, your gooch, your goozle. Pure Irish butter, okay? Because I am pasty Irish white. So we're celebrating Irish heritage today. One stick of butter. Put the other one, throw the other one away. Throw it. Get it out of here, dude. And that'll be about it. Sometimes my mom adds half and half to it to make it creamier. Hey, makes me shit my pants, okay? Makes me literally liquid diarrhea into the toilet. But it tastes good. It tastes good with the half and half in it. Ooh! But it makes me uh, shit fire, so we will not be doing that. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna fill this up with water and we're going to add the bouillon. Bouillon! And then the chicken stock. I literally have eaten this. I grew up eating this and it's still my comfort meal. I'll never stop eating it. I'll never stop making it. Sorry. Piss, piss cam, piss cam. Did I do? Okay, um, I'm gonna add water. I'm gonna go to the sink and just do my thing. And we can add some bouillon. Bouillon's like this kind of paste. Looks like a little bit of baby food in a jar. And this is baby food for adults, okay? This is baby food for me. I'm honestly, I'm just gonna empty this in here. Cause uh, the saltier the better, honestly. Cause listen, I don't know anything about nutrition and I know sodium is good for you, but not that much sodium. You can be seriously dehydrated, but then you have to drink sodium. So how the f does that make sense? Ooh, Gatorade and all, it's got electrolytes and sodium, which is what you need to rehydrate. Hey, in what universe does that make sense? Scientists, checkmate. I'm gonna put this on the stove for, um, until it starts boiling. And I'm gonna add all the ingredients into here as I'm chopping them up. And as this comes to a boil, I'm gonna add everything to here. So here we go. Don't look at the back of my head. Stanley, I'm not joking, blur it out. My stove light went out. Okay, we're gonna add a uh, half stick of this butter. I almost just did something very, very unhinged. I, I tried to rip this in half of my hands. That was not gonna work out for anyone involved. Okay, no one was gonna win if I did that in that scenario. I was, I really was about to just go for that. We're gonna add her in. Like so, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to manhandle the butter. Never be afraid to manhandle anything. I'll grab anything with my fist, okay? Butter, a vegetable, a small child's arm. Just stop. It's not even my child. <laughs> running, it's an airport. What are you running for? Okay, my mom adds the seasonings at this point, but I'm gonna add the seasonings now as well. I don't know why I, I wouldn't do the, uh... I'm like, my mom does it this way and makes it correctly, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like, why would I do that? Okay, let me go for a little garlic powder. Hi! <laughs> it's in the bowl. Okay, add some garlic salt. 
I'm eyeballing all of this, by the way. I don't think it needs onion salt, honestly. Some poultry seasoning. Sage. Okay. And add some thyme. Some Lowry's. And lots of black pepper. Okay. Give that kind of a little mix around. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> okay, you guys can see this clearly, right? All right, guys, pay really close attention to what I'm doing. You don't want to miss this part. That's what I did, okay? Can you see? Give it a little taste. Ooh! Good. What does it need? All right, we're gonna let her boil. And I'm gonna start chopping. <laughs> And I'm the only one eating this, so if I sneeze right into the bowl, you bitches can't tell me anything. Okay, so we've got our carrots mm. into the bowl. Mmm, a carrot. Now, I'm gonna add some of this celery, but I don't like too much celery. It makes it taste funky, and also my piss smells weird afterwards. These are pre-washed and pre-cut. Uncut, I mean to say. We're dealing with uncut celery. This celery has foreskin. That's really satisfying to do, actually. That felt really good. Slow motion, me chopping my finger off. But these also really soften in the in the soup. I should not have added that whole bag of carrots. That feels really good. I can't lie. Ooh, get into this. Get into this right here. Ooh, ooh. Why was it kind of burning my eyes? <laughs> hey, where are my eyes burning? Uncut foreskin celery. Now you gotta finger all of them. You gotta manhandle them and finger them and separate them and rip them apart. Enough celery! <laughs> we can move on. Okay, I'm gonna add the chicken actually directly to the, uh, directly to my concoction over there. And then I'm gonna move you guys over there. Oh, we got some boil going on. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna shred this and put it in here. This is pretty much already shredded, but I'm just gonna, again, finger it. Don't be afraid to finger your food. One of the small joys of life is getting to finger stuff. <laughs> Fingering things you love. Yeah. I forgot that when you cook a broth with butter in it, the butter can burn. And so maybe the butter just burned a little bit and it was making some weird noises. I'm not worried about it though. I'm not worried one bit. Damn, this chicken is so, oh, it's chicken. Mm, mm. And now this big mama, big mama piece. Let me wash my hands and then move y'all and then we'll add everything. Ooh. In goes my chicken concoction. Yeah, and I'm just kind of randomly grabbing as much celery and carrots as I want in there. I forgot my light. Now y'all can see me good. Hi y'all, can y'all see me good? Okay, we're gonna do a mixy. And now we're going to add the tortillas. Looking good. Come back over here. This is how you cut the tortillas. You think we need a knife? You're wrong. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna do like three or four at a time and you slice them like a pizza. Don't question the method, just do what I say. Like that, okay? Tortilla. So now you just kind of submerge the dumplings. I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, plain water. The dumplings kind of take up more space when they absorb some of that broth. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little more broth and then we're gonna put the lid on, let it uh, cook for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna clean up our workspace because the woman from Ratatouille changed my life when she said that. Get out of my kitchen. Put some, put some like fun country music over this sped up bit of me cleaning. Looking very good, looking very nice. Now we just wait, wait about 15, 20, 25 minutes for it to boil and then we chow down. You gotta let it cook. And then what, what we'll do is, um, cause it's such a big pot, I'll freeze, I'll, I'll eat on it for, you know, three, four days and then uh, I'll freeze the rest of it. Or I'll just eat it for a week straight because I don't give a f Because I need sodium. Sodium is my life source, dude. Sodium keeps me going. I don't need water. I don't need vitamins. I need salt. You could put a salt lick by my bed. I literally have a box of goldfish by my bed because that is my salt lick. Sometimes at night I'm like, mm, I need some salt. It's delicious. I like to cook, but it's big. Y'all stay here. I'm gonna come back and stir this. Y'all watch it. Y'all watch, can y'all watch him while I go smoke? Cause I'm leaving. I'll be back. Don't touch my iPad. Don't touch my iPad. I was saying, if the question is, do I listen to the Almost Friday podcast? The answer is unabashedly. Yes, of course I do. It's a problem. The little bit where they do characters back and forth. 
Need them back. Let's take it back over to the dumplings. Dumpling cam, how are we doing? We'll do a little taste test. I'm very confident about uh, about this dish. Half of the beauty is that really all you need to do is wait for the tortillas and the veggies to cook down because the meat's done. You don't cook meat, okay? The best thing that corporate America ever gave us was the rotisserie chicken, dude. The best thing the 1950s grocery stores gave us was the rotisserie chicken and microplastics. <laughs> Honey, your microplastics. You know what time it is. So let's spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> okay, that's hot. This is boiling hot, but let's give it a taste test, shall we? Look at that bite. It's got everything in it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, what's up? Uh-huh, it's delicious. Just burn the out of my mouth. Damn, I did good though. Mm, damn, that is very delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tastes really great. I'm so good at this. Okay. Gordon Ramsay is coming to my house and he has a gun and he's gonna kill me. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let this cook for like five more minutes, then I'm gonna have a little bowl. There's you guys. You look gorgeous and beautiful. Hi guys. Stormy. Okay, let's make a bowl. Let's pack a bowl. Ready? Let's see it. Good. Not almighty, that's hot. Fly over. Here's the here's the spin up. That looks so yum. Wow. Alright guys. Let's do a little taste test. Okay. Hey, this one's for you guys. Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me on this beautiful and fun journey. Shout out to my mom for this recipe. And if you want to make this at home, you go ahead and you tell me if you f it up because this is Southern culture. This is Texan chicken and dumplings, my family style. Cheers for real. Perfect. All right, I love you, mom. I also call mom Misa, AKA Disa, AKA Dita. I love you, Dita. And we'll see you next time, team. Okay, loving you guys, and y'all stay safe. And I love y'all. Tell your mom and I'll give my love to team. All right, bye y'all. All right, hey, y'all forgot.